Greetings all and thanks for joining us for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a popular wildlife expanse located on the banks of the Schoolkill River off of West Grand Avenue within the Centennial District of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania that holds the title of being the first true menagerie in the whole of the United States. Surrounded in a wealth of local legends and tales of encounters with the supernatural, are you prepared to brave the history and hauntings of the one and only Philadelphia Zoo? Historically, the 1847 establishment of the London Zoo would prompt both America's intellectuals and its entrepreneurs to follow down the same path. And after traveling Europe through the 1850s and visiting the London Zoo himself, one Dr. William Kamak of Philadelphia would advocate for the institution's founding. On March 21st of 1859, Pennsylvania legislature would incorporate the Zoological Society of Philadelphia, after which Kamak, joined by other members of said society, would imagine necessary funding and would procure 33 acres on the West Philly side of the school kill from John Penn, grandson of William Penn. When what was called the Philadelphia Zoological Garden first opened its gates on July 1st of 1874 to over 3,000 visitors, offering around 1,000 animals and an admission price unbeatable by today's standards at just 25 cents, it did so as the first institution of its kind in America. Additionally, when the internal Penrose Research Lab was established in 1901, subsequently, as the first institution of its kind within any zoo ever, it would do so under the purpose of curing common ailments, improving the vigor, and increasing the longevity of the operation's treasured species. Over its active years, the Philadelphia Zoo's renowned breeding program has earned a number of awards and has been credited with a range of firsts, including in 1928 with the first successful birth of an orangutan and chimpanzee within a U.S. zoo, in 1956 with the first cheetah zoo born. In 1983, with the first successful birth of an echidna in the whole of North America. And in 2004, with the first successful birth of a giant river otter in North America. More recently, in 2010, a special exhibit called Creatures of Habitat was unveiled at the zoo, featuring 10 animal stations and endangered species portrayed through more than 30 life-sized Lego statues. The Philadelphia Zoo remains open into the present, offering a range of exhibits and attractions, a live rainforest camera, a scavenger hunt, and, appropriate for the season as of this upload, a Boo at the Zoo Halloween event through October. But it's not all fun and games at the zoo as local legend has it, and across its bounds, both staff and visitors have reported a wide range of ghostly happenings, including extreme cold spots felt through the heat of summer, objects spied moving about on their own, and the constant feelings of being watched or of being followed by someone or something unseen. The two-and-a-half-story federal-style Solitude House, or Solitude Mansion, was constructed in 1784 for the aforementioned John Penn, long before the zoo was ever even a pipe dream, as a way for him to escape the city for bouts of time. Those who have braved the property have reported disembodied voices and footsteps through the halls, instances of the attic light being found on inexplicably, old-timey music heard emanating from the crypto porticus, and encounters with an ethereal woman in white who stands at the top of the stair, watching all who enter. In the Shelley building, a spectral face has been known to appear in windows and reflective surfaces through the lobby. Poltergeist activity has been experienced in both the Treehouse and Penrose buildings, with the latter also purportedly housing a female presence in its library. And a handful of informal investigations of the area have yielded high EMF levels, orbs and strange forms captured in photography, malfunctions in well-maintained equipment, and odd responses from dogs or pets accompanying research groups. Finally, on the morning of December 24th of 1995, a fire would erupt through the World of Primates section, tragically resulting in 23 animals killed, including a family group of six western lowland gorillas, a family group of three orangutans, four white-handed gibbons, and ten lemurs, all species which were endangered. To date, those who have ventured near this area have reported what sound to be the phantom noises of some of said lost creatures, as well as incidents in which they spot what appear to be animals outside of their cages that disappear when approached. Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. If you enjoyed our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. Until next time.